Hey travelers, it's Florin Nastasi and welcome back to my Stanton, Virginia travel series. Today I am going to be providing some important information for you travelers coming through the Queen City. Today I'm going to be talking about parking. Yes, parking. If you're driving through Stanton, Virginia as a first timer and you're looking around probably thinking, where the f*** am I supposed to park? Well, have no fear, Florin is here to help. The city of Stanton has widely accessible but quirky parking. Today we're going to start our parking tour downtown. When you drive into Stanton, Virginia, you will be greeted with two parking garages. The first one will be the Johnson Street Garage, and the second will be the New Street Parking Garage. The Johnson Street Garage is located on the corner of West Johnson Street and South Central Avenue, directly across from the Wharf Historic District. You will find that the city police cruisers park in this garage, but any resident or tourist alike can park here. So the second parking garage option is the New Street Parking Garage, located at 35 South New Street. It is very easy to reference and find this garage as it is located directly behind Hotel 24 South and directly next to the Stanton Visitor Center. All right, so when you visit either one of these two garages, you will notice that the price to park is the same at both, $1.25 an hour or $7.50 a day. Keep in mind though, if you want to park overnight in one of these two garages, you will need to uh, receive a permit, uh, from the, a parking permit from the city to do that. I will include that in the description of this video and the steps you need to take to get one of those. All right, so next up we are going to talk about easy and accessible parking lots downtown. Now, depending on the day and time you visit, you might have to circle all four of these mentioned lots, but more times than not, you won't have any issues finding parking. So the first parking lot that I want to talk about is the Wharf parking lot. Uh, this lot is located directly across from the Johnson Street garage uh, that we talked about earlier. Uh, and it's best to park in this lot if you're trying to get to Buyer Street Bistro, uh, Sunspot Studios, or even picking up somebody from the Amtrak station uh, or the Augusta County uh, General District Court. That is all right, quick 30 second walking distance within uh, the Wharf parking lot. The second parking lot that I suggest is the RMA parking lot. This is the first parking lot that you'll find when you drive downtown in the Stanton. It's directly in front of the Mill Street Grill, and this is probably the best lot to park in if you are trying to walk to Taste of India, uh, Hotel 24 South, the Visitor Center, or even the Shack. Okay, so if you're wanting to avoid walking uphill, I suggest these two following lots. The Augusta Street parking lot, which that is directly across from Visualite Cinemas, which takes you right into downtown. There's no hills whatsoever. Or I suggest parking in the Hardy parking lot. Uh, that is next to the Temple House of Israel, and it is the closest walking uh, path to the American Shakespeare Center. And another good thing about these two lots is it's a lot cheaper to park in these. Both lots are going to cost you uh, 75 cents an hour or 6.25 a day. And honestly, in terms of Getting to downtown Stanton, all four of these lots will do the job for you just fine. It will all come down to whether or not you want to walk uphill or walk more on a flat surface. Now you're probably wondering, but Florin, what if I don't want to pay for parking at all, but I still want to be in a parking lot and not on the main road? Well, you clicked on the right Stanton video. I have not just one, but two free parking lots that you can park in. Okay, so the first parking lot that is free, it is called the Firehouse Lot. It is located at the intersections of Baldwin Street and North Lewis Street. I will tell you though, it's a small lot. Uh, so if you want to grab a spot here, I suggest you get one early uh, because they will be taken up fast. Okay, so the second free parking lot, it is the Lewis Street parking lot. It is directly across from Chicano Boy Taco and the Howard Johnson Hotel. This is a much bigger parking lot, and it's also closer to Gypsy Hill Park, which you can easily walk from in about 10 minutes. So you want to park for free, but you don't want to be in a garage, and you don't want to be in a parking lot. Well, that's fine. You still have the option to park for free on Main Street and downtown Stanton on Beverly Street. Just keep in mind, though, the parking is only free for the first two hours. After that second hour, <laughs> 
you better move because parking enforcement in Stanton does not mess around. So once five o'clock hits though, you're completely fine to park over a two hour limit if you desire. Uh, and that includes weekends as well, completely free parking. So you don't have to worry about getting towed whatsoever. Now with all of this being said, I wanna make sure you know, uh, this is an important piece of information. On Fridays from 4 p.m. leading up to the following Monday at 7.30 in the morning, you cannot park on Beverly Street. The city won't allow you. And this is because they let the restaurants open up uh, outdoor seating on the main road. And they also let uh, stores utilize the main road for pop-ups. So the only other times parking will be a pain uh, is during uh, the Veterans Day Parade, during the Christmas Parade, which is always the first Monday after Thanksgiving. Uh, also, Mischief, the Queen City Mischief and Magic Festival, which always happens around the end of September. So I will make sure to put all of that information down below for you so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, you can just keep that on your radar uh, when you come traveling through the Queen City. As I mentioned earlier in the video, parking in Stanton is quirky, but it is totally accessible as long as you just uh, take my advice and review all the information that I gave you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for the support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.